A new atmospheric exploration game set deep in the autumnal woodlands has arrived just in time for cozy season. Build your own chicken-legged cottage, venture through the wilderness, practice witchcraft, and more. Here's everything you need to know about Rekka. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, and today we have a brand new episode of Thinking Out Loud. The show where I explore a variety of interesting and exciting gaming topics and share my honest thoughts with you all. This episode is very kindly sponsored by Fireshine Games with their early access launch of Rekka, a witchy cottage building game developed by Emberstorm Entertainment. Now, I was able to preview Rekka early and today I'll be sharing what you need to know about this new cozy title. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. At its core, Rekka is a rich exploration game incorporating base building and crafting elements. You begin your adventure as Rekka, wandering through the picture-perfect autumnal woodlands. As you navigate this new land, you'll meet a series of interesting characters who can help you to paint a better picture of where exactly you are and why you're here. The world and its atmosphere are certainly standout features for this title. It truly feels as if you've stepped into the perfect, crisp, warm, bountiful fall ambiance. Cozy season, spooky season, whatever you'd like to call it, Rekka is doused with these exact vibes, which are only elevated by the beautifully melancholic and slightly haunting yet equally peaceful soundtrack. What's more is that the game's story and dialogue has been written in collaboration with award-winning writer Rihanna Pratchett, who has written for acclaimed games like Mirror's Edge and Tomb Raider. For the title's early access launch, you'll begin your journey by experiencing the prologue and the first chapter of Rekka's story, in which you'll meet the powerful witch Baba Yaga and be taken under her wing to learn the fine art of becoming a witch yourself. However, the story will continue to develop over the course of Early Access, with all chapters becoming available by the 1.0 release. And perhaps you'll ultimately uncover Baba Yaga's harrowing secret. While you do play as Rekka, you can fully customize your character using a variety of tools. I personally appreciate this so much and find it a great way to balance telling a character's story, yet still immersing players in the world and offering us the ability to express ourselves. In Rekka, you can select from a variety of skin tones, face shapes, eye colors, hairstyles, eyebrows, and colors. You can also choose from a series of starter outfits, coats, boots, and accessories like jewelry. Plus, you can even opt to add tattoos to your character. But it's not just your character that you can customize, you can also build your own wandering chicken-legged cottage, which serves as your safe haven and a cozy spot to practice magic. You can construct multiple floors with building blocks like staircases, walls, roofs, and flooring. And once you're happy with your layout, you can add rustic decorations to make your house more of a home. The freedom of placement is amazing because you aren't locked to a grid and can achieve very precise placement when it comes to both angles and overall positioning for furniture and decor. I also really enjoyed discovering new furniture and decor items when out exploring and looting throughout the world. Excited to head back to my cottage to see how my newfound items looked when placed. While wandering around on foot is a must, for bigger trips, you can even control your ambling cottage to traverse the map with greater height and ease. As you wander around the captivating world, traversing forests, swamps, and villages, you will find numerous quests to complete, which will reward you for your good deeds. Some quests take place directly through the main story, others by making your own discoveries as you roam freely. Many of these quests involve foraging for different ingredients and materials, which you can actually collect by using magic. So even if at first you think something's out of your reach, think again. All throughout the game, you will harness the power of nature and earthly spirits to become a powerful creator and wielder of magic. As such, you might also be required to cook dishes with ingredients found in the woodlands, which can be used for quests or as part of rituals. So enjoy brewing and concocting magical crafts. You can even discover and tame wildlife to accompany you on your adventures, or better yet, bring them home with you. The small team of just four developers at Ember Storm Entertainment have opted for the early access release approach for Rekka in order to shape the future of the game alongside community feedback. 
The game is currently out for PC via Steam with a 10% launch discount available until September 19th. So be sure to visit the link in the description or the pinned comment for more information. Although there is no definitive date set for 1.0 yet, the team expects the game to be in early access until sometime in 2025. Over this period of time, the game will receive updates that will include new areas to visit, quests to complete, recipes, accessories, and other items to collect, plus expansion to the story and more. The team will be releasing an early access roadmap to provide players with more details, so stay tuned. And as I always recommend, be sure to consider whether you'd like to get involved with the game early on or if you'd prefer to wait for the full experience to enjoy it. You all know yourselves best. However, do keep in mind that like many early access titles, the game's price will most likely increase as we approach the 1.0 release and more content is added. So that was everything you need to know to get started with Rekka's early access launch, along with my initial thoughts after previewing the title. But what did you think? In a recent poll, I asked which main feature of the game you are most looking forward to experiencing or learning more about. And the majority of you, with 40% of the vote, chose creating a witchy character. I always love when a game offers character customization, and I do think Rekka has a great starting point for their offerings. Of course, I do hope to see this expanded upon across the course of Early Access, and it does seem that the team has plans to do so, which is amazing news. I always think the more options, the better, so I can't wait to see how the character creator tools evolve. Interestingly, the other three options on the poll were all very close, so it seems like we're just excited for everything. 23% of you voted for experiencing the story and quests, now, this is actually my personal top pick. I honestly don't know if I would have picked this before playing the game, but now that I have, I found myself instantly immersed in the story and the world's lore. There's such an energy of mystery woven throughout the world, and many of the quests are actually quite detailed and dynamic, at least the ones that I participated in. Without spoiling anything, there are lots of different steps to take towards completing just one quest, and it usually felt like the next thing being asked of me was totally unexpected, which I loved. So I'm excited to experience more, continue to follow the story, and start to unravel a lot of those mysteries. 20% of you voted for building a chicken-legged cottage, which of course is such a standout feature for this game. I mean, where else can you build a mobile chicken-legged home? I can't wait to collect more furniture and decor to add to my cottage, and also to see how the selection of these items expands over the course of early access. 17% of you voted for exploring autumnal landscapes, and this was one of my favorite things to do. The game is designed in such a way that it's so relaxing and cozy, where you can kind of just wander around and you don't really need to do anything. You don't feel any pressure toward accomplishing anything, you can honestly just soak up the fall vibes. But of course, if you want to be busier, you can take on more quests, spend more time foraging, looking for secrets, so on, so forth. So let me know down in the comments which of these features you're most excited to experience or learn more about, or maybe even just to see how these features evolve over the course of early access. Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much to Fireshine Games for taking care of creators like me and sponsoring today's video. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care.